Well, good morning, folks. I'm gonna do another little video here. This is a 92 Evo motor. My carburetor is backfiring a little bit every once in a while. So I pulled off the uh, cleaner, which is pretty straightforward. And this, the carburetor just sticks into a the rubber manifold no clamps no nothing so the next thing I have to do to try to take this thing off I got a rebuild kit for it and I don't know if you can see up in there but it looks like the, the choke is uh, hooked up on the other side and we're gonna have to go over here and Remove this stuff, take that choke out in order to get the carburetor off. Now I pulled the horn and horn cover off, and uh, I don't see how I get that out, but I see that there's a little gap right here. It looks like all I have to do is loosen this, uh, this choke and uh, locking nut up, and then slide it down out of the bracket. That was pretty straightforward. It just uh, loosened up, fell right out. Now I can go over to the other side and uh, this should give me enough room here. Looks like that my next uh, little sequence is to take throttle cables loose with a Phillips. Now I tried taking this little screw loose here with a short screwdriver they're just way too tight so it looks like I'm going to have to take loose one of the cables up here on top there's a uh, throttle cable I'm going to loosen it up see if I get enough uh, slack in it to take it loose on the bottom and then the whole carburetor should come out and I'm back to adjustment off to maximum I was able to get these out and uh, looks like somebody just put a little piece of a spring in here to try to adjust the cable uh, until it's a different gauge than the, the main cable. I don't know why they did that. Probably wasn't uh, going all the way or something. I don't know why that's in there. Anyway, our carburetors pretty much loose I just have to pull that choke through there looks like it don't have much room try to go to the other side and figure out how to get it out looks like it's uh, stuck on oh there it came right out looks like it's coming out of the top that one vacuum line there and I have a drain line here and uh, carburetors out and then we can uh, take it to the bench and start taking it apart. Now I was going to take it in here on the bench, but uh, what I'll do is just work on it out here in the sun where we can see good. Got a lot of grease on it. I'm just going to clean all that off. And the next thing is this is the fuel inlet. This is a stock Harley one. And it's kind of the plastic broke on it, so I just uh, machined a little brass fitting to go over this and glued it on with JB Weld. It worked okay. I got a another part. I'm going to have to tap that, put a bolt in it, make a little puller so I can pull that straight out. I don't think I can twist it. I don't want to go breaking this uh, aluminum. First thing, just cleaned it up, and uh, then I'll take that bowl off so I get make sure that no chips get into anything well looking down in here I can see a lot of a lot of dirt and stuff in the bowl I really can't tell much about this but uh, I got it off I'm gonna clean all these jets and everything out Make sure that uh, it's 
it's all good. I think this is accelerator pump right here. Might be, yeah, it is. That's accelerator pump. I'll have a new diaphragm and kit for that. I'll replace that. But I'm going to have to go ahead and take out this uh, this float here and get the uh, needle valve and everything out because when I tap this I'm going to get brass chips down there and I want to make sure nothing sticks. Now this is the idle screw goes down in here. Kind of dirty on the outside. I checked where it was at. It was in four turns. Which uh, I think the jetting things I remember seeing was uh, two and a half. Got a little spring in there. Yeah, it came out good. So, put this in here. I think there should be a little rubber washer in there, but. Uh, I don't see one. I'll see if I can get a little piece of wire and see if I can dig anything else out of there. Well, I ran into troubles here. This screw wouldn't come out. Uh, so what I've done is lock a pair of vice grips on it. I think it's not going to work. I'm probably going to have to chisel it. I don't have an impact that works right now. Uh, the vice grips did break it loose, got the top off, slide comes out, looks like it's got some wear, not too bad, quite a bit on this side, I'll clean it up, this is a spring holder that goes in there, here's the spring, but uh, Looks pretty grody in there. Of course, that's the vacuum side. We'll just have to clean that all up. Looks like I can get to my jets and everything. Choke is loose. I'm not going to mess with that. I don't think I'll have to take it out. I can blow it out by hand. There's no metal going to get in there from this. Uh, fitting so next I'll go ahead and put this in the vise tap that fitting to make a puller for it I just chucked that carburetor up in the lathe uh, here's the right uh, tap for that brass thing and uh, I'll tap it and put a bolt in it and see how I can make a puller all right I got a bolt in it Actually, all I would need is a little piece of pipe there to slip over this and fit on this boss right here. And a washer. These are all machine one. Or see if I can find one. I'll see if I can find one first. Well, it turns out a little socket and a and a nut is just a ticket. With a little bolt, this should pull straight up on that thing and pull it right out of that carburetor body. Looks like it's getting loose, so I'm either pulling the bolt or the. Oh, I stripped it. I need to thread it a little better and maybe use a little bigger bolt here. We'll do that. Well, I had a little trouble there. So I'm going to power tap this. with the other hand that's a nice squealing noise so I know that it's uh, starting into the brass we'll lube her up a little and I'm gonna put the I wonder if this will I'm just gonna try it as it is Feeding it in with one hand. There it looks 
looks like it's taking it pretty good. Just hit the bottom and stop. I got uh, tempered steel into tempered steel. Not too good, but now I can take it apart and use a hand tool on it. Alright, put a longer bolt in it. It uh, cracked the uh, brass fitting trying to thread it. I screwed that down in there as far as I can. It might be the JB weld that I forced it together with there so it wouldn't leak. That might be holding it, but it looks like it's pulling it out. It's either stripping those threads or pulling it. Of course, if this wasn't drove in and then uh, okay I'm gonna have to use both hands I'm gonna have to hold that bolt still yeah it pulled it uh, pulled it loose you can see there and uh, how about that just came right out I thought I might have to bore it and Put another in, but uh, that worked. So if it, if you got a stock one and you didn't pound it in and glue it, it should come right out with just a little procedure I showed you there. Just tap it, put a little uh, socket and a bolt in it, and uh, it'll pull right out. Now I got to put on the uh, on the new piece here. And this part will be done. I'm going to blow it all out again first. Well, while I was cleaning it up, I found a burn spot right here, which means it is probably this rubber's not sealing real good right there. I don't have another slide or a another pre-anthalic piece so what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure it and make sure that it's all flat there with a little file see what I can do about uh, repairing that well I took a little file and just flattened that area right there where it's burned inspected the rubber it don't look like it would be uh, leaking, at least not very much. The only thing that this would control is when you when you gas it, vacuum raises the slide. So I don't know. I'll see if I can order another slide. This will be another repair project for another day, but for right now I'm just going to finish cleaning it up. Put my uh, my brass fitting back in here and uh, see what happens. It was backfiring. This might be the, the reason it was backfiring, or this might be the result it was backfiring. I have a feeling that uh, you know that's the engine side, so. Probably just flame blowing up into there, just enough to to mess things up. I might try a little little something silicone or something right in there. I'll probably put it on the other side, but maybe I won't. I don't want to mess this up. That's that's got to slide up and down freely inside the choke bore. Well, here's a rebuild kit. Got a needle valve, a bunch of gaskets. I'm just going to replace all this stuff. And there we go, simplicity itself. The main thing I suppose is that slide works, it's doing good. All my linkage worked, I replaced the gasket and stuff in here. Set that air screw at two and a half turns. 
Got some stuff here. I think this for sure goes into the manifold like that somehow. These are probably for a different kind of carb. Most likely that's a different uh, gasket as well. And that's for a different kind of different kind of base. It's supposed to fit all models so probably give you some extra stuff. But anyway here it is ready to go back in. I'll uh, put it in and give it a go and see if it works. Well first thing is get this manifold rubber off. That's a That just don't strike me as a any any kind of way of good sealing anything. I'm used to jet bikes and everything's all holes clamped and rubber mounted and this just really don't seem like a good idea. It just doesn't. Don't seem like it's really a well engineered. Probably easy, easy to get on and off, but uh, the gasket goes right on. I suppose these big bolts here are holding the whole carburetor assembly is what gives it enough pressure to seal. You can't really use silicone or anything in there. because of all the heat you might be able to use silicone grease but the gas probably eat it up and I, I think it was made to go together dry well I put it in and turned the gas on and it's overflowing somehow that floats not shutting it off have to see what's wrong in there well there's the problem the one on the right is the uh, original the one on the left is the one that came in the kit the guy I bought this bike from said he put some kind of a carb kit in it maybe that's a bigger jet for flowing more fuel or something like that which is kind of crazy this motor and never take it anyway I'll put the right one back in and see what happens well that's all that no leaks let's see if it'll start Probably will. Find out in a second. back to this carb of course this is not really in good but uh, can't really tell too much and I do have that uh, low speed jet at two and a half turns instead of four Maybe that's got something to do with it. Anyway, I'll put all this cover and stuff back on it. I think it'll be all right. That's funny, it sounds bad. And the reason why, I forgot to put a spark plug on it. This should make a difference. It's pretty low, but it's cold. I think it's just fine. Sure sounds better on two cylinders than one. So anyway, take it for a road test. I'm pretty sure that my uh, 
fix is good and I just have to play with that uh, idle speed down there. I have to make a tool for that.